What you know about milling a large flat surface with a milling cutter that operates on a plane that is at a right angle to its axis. That's face milling. Where'd that bird come from? I said face milling. First things first, we gotta talk about safety. You got ten figures? Keep them. You got nine? You can't afford to lose any more. Those ain't safety glasses. Put these on. Working with heavy pieces of metal? Feet could be a jeopardy. There's better not be no night checks on those shoes. Gotta see some green triangles. What you know about CSA approved? You catch what I'm saying so far? You got hearing loss? This ain't no symphony orchestra. Put in those earplugs. Now that we've covered safety, it's time for the main event. You think you know the rock well? You think you know the rock? It's time to go over the parts. You got your on-off switch. It doesn't take much to turn this baby on. Next, you got your table power feed. This is gonna be your best friend. Don't go too fast, speed kills. Two and a half ought to do it. If we're cutting left and right, we're on the Y axis. Why, you ask? Because we're crazy. This wheel won't turn. The power feed's engaged. You gotta put that on manual. Now we're talking X axis. This ain't X's and O's. We're talking three dimensional cutting planes. Next is the Z axis. Z axis? We're from Canada, haters. That's Z axis. All you'd be cutting is wind if you don't set that right. Quick note, all three wheels are measured a thousandth of an inch. All right, now we're ready for some face milling. Hey muscles, put that piece in the vise. He's using a spacer so he steers clear of the vise when he's milling. Now I bet you're wondering, how do we get that 45 degree angle on our chamfer? Don't think, we got a jig for that. Put in the vise, lock it in. Remember to line it up on that perpendicular groove. I didn't teach you to milk crooked.
Thanks for watching Epic Mill Time. Next time, we eat metal. <laughs>